All right, so here we are at the Sacred Space Cafe in Hebden Bridge, and we're gonna go in and meet the lovely staff, and I hear there's a special guest here to meet me as well. long to get this open. Oh wow, so you had a flood that closed the other one down. Yeah. But all four of us all do the bird rescue, so we've just been inundated as lockdown everyone's been finding them. So it's kind of good that we're off. <laughs> yeah, it worked out well. Yeah. So you, you rescue birds as well? Yeah, yeah wild birds. Obviously you'll meet Joey later. Who's Joey? Joey the turkey. He's going to compete to be Oh you like. god. <laughs> Joey? You look a bit unfit. We saved him to a local serious. farm two Christmases ago. Like oh, three really? days before he's going to be killed. Yeah. Oh, wow. We took him to uh, a, an avian vet specialist about, what was it, two two months ago? Yeah. Um, just to get to check out, to check him over. And this guy, is, you know, he's kind of the top quality vet if he was to bring a bird to him. And he basically said he couldn't believe that we'd got him this far and that he'd lost this much weight. So, yeah. And he's seen him, what, twice? I think he's seen him twice now. So he's doing really good. Yeah, yeah the odds aren't really good for... It's like, palliative like care for them no. and any yeah. bird. But we want to have a big ex battery hen broiler and turkey rescue. Oh that's wow. The biggest in the country we'd like to find. <laughs> that's, that's what we're doing. And disabled birds. Because obviously so, we're the go to at the minute locally because no one else will take them. So this cafe is going to fund a sanctuary. Is that what you're hoping to do? 100%. Mm -hmm. That's why we're doing it. Yeah. That's our goal. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the end goal. I'll soon go. <laughs> <laughs> so people come in to support the cafe, they're essentially supporting a sanctuary for Wow, that's awesome. That's, that's why we wanted to open it that way. Why not to make money from vegan food to fund to help the animals? Wow, that's a win-win <laughs> because you're actually uh, promoting the vegan food to the yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a dumb, it's kind of like just like the not the coincidental thing. We're passionate about that too, but. We're doing this for the sanctuary, and then everyone comes in, is you know eating vegan food, enjoying vegan food, learning because we're educating people yeah. too. So it's I think it's, it's like a mega activism cafe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tattoo as well because once people are in my chair, they can't escape. Oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> Seven hours of activism at the. Yeah, tattoo studio. It's not me actually. Yeah, just yeah, in I was thinking to get an animal liberation across my face. Oh, Would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Bridge, although people think it's just full of vegans, it's actually not, so there is still a lot of work to be done. Oh, wow! Yeah, well, I didn't even know that it had vegans here when I was <laughs> like a vintage English town. So. <laughs> you guys are hungry, we've got, we've got food ready, we can hook you with some food. A beetroot latte, you've never had one. Wait, is it like pink milk? No, so it's like a, it's like beetroot, isn't it? It's like a, a beetroot and cacao are like mixed together in harmony, and then it creates this luscious latte. It's not caffeinated as well. This one's the earthy, beetrooty, creamy, and this one is like minty, creamy, mm. earthy as well. Mm. All right, so 
I've just been surprised with this amazing spread of vegan food here and I'm about to die of happiness and um, what we're going to do is we're going to talk through exactly what we've got here so um, I think we'll start her, what should I start with? I would recommend the Cluck Off Burger. The, that the, has been a favourite. The Cluck Off Burger? Mm -hmm. That is our mock chicken, which is Wait, is it here? middle. Mm -hmm. I love the name. <laughs> and, and what's in here? So it's oyster mushrooms fried in a house batter made by Emily. Secret recipe. Oh dear lord. Mm. That's an oyster mushroom. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to have a little bite. Mm. Oh my god! <laughs> what is that batter? Mm -mm. It's good, right? It's very crunchy. Amazing. Pluck off. That's like leave the chickens alone and have this instead. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Named in honor of our ex battery hen who we lost during lockdown. Oh, oh yeah, dear. she was the last one of the ones we've saved. So just you know, if someone comes in asking for a chicken burger, we can legitimately say pluck off. Okay, and shall I cleanse my palate? Mm -hmm. And maybe something a bit sweet to the donut burger. So the donut oh, burger. Yeah. What? <laughs> so that's on a triple baked a Italian don donut. A triple baked Italian donut burger? Oh. And what is this? Yeah, vegan bacon cheese and a beef style patty on a glazed donut. Oh my lord. We all love this one. We weren't sure about it, but then on taste oh. testing it just melted. And it's the also the sauce. It might sound strange, but the maple. sauce maple. is a maple. is a maple sauce. This is bad for the old diet, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say. Mm -hmm. Oh my <laughs> Alright. This one here is my favourite thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the sweet and salty is just too good. It oh, tastes like something you'd have on your birthday, right? <laughs> That's what I think. It's like a birthday treat, but you should have it every day. No, it's you, you should have it every day. It's amazing. Yeah, we don't eat like this every day. <laughs> every other day. That's the treat burger, once a week. Mm. Now that is like the best of both worlds. A big, it's a beautiful donut as well. Yeah. It's soft and fresh. My lord. Oh, so you got to try this one. All right. What's the next one? The smoky one. Oh, smoky. So you got smoked cheese, some barbecue sauce, and bacon again. My lord. No slaughterhouses used in the process of making this bacon, which is the best part. Let's have a look. Mm. Oh, this is a proper burger. Mm. I, would, I don't know what I would choose to be my favourite. Mm. Because they're all for different moods. <laughs> it depends what your mood is, eh? <laughs> That's delicious. The buns are beautiful as well. Are these brioche buns? Mm -hmm. Yeah, brioche buns. Enough with the burger, love. Let's go on to the... Which one Which one should I go next? Chili cheese fries. Well, these are our, all of our favourites. Okay. The sriracha. Okay, the sriracha. Garlic sriracha fries. See, my favourite is the chili cheese fries. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, well, we'll try the... Uh, we'll try to get one with everything on it. Let's try the sesame seeds and spring onions and sriracha. Mm-hmm. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's tangy and spicy mm -hmm. and sweet mm -hmm. and salty. It's a good mix. Oh my lord. So this is uh, chili cheese fries. Mm -hmm. Nice. So you've got homemade chili, vegan cheese, melted on top, and then we've got our spice fries. Here we go. Let's do that. Uh, you want some of that? Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> That's Mexican nacho style. Oh, I can't believe this is all vegan, eh? It's just, oh, well, I can. <laughs> <laughs> I can by now. I've uh, had a few run-ins with amazing vegan food, but this is just mm -hmm. nice. And this is this is what you put in the... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. but... So we do them as yeah, wing-style pieces. Wing. Mm -hmm. So these are kind of like uh, less processed than... It's a mushroom, isn't it? It's a mushroom. Mm -hmm. so yeah. it's not, you know, people saying they're not looking for processed meats. It's not processed meat, that's an oyster mushroom. So if you've not tried oyster mushroom before, they have like a quite a, uh, I don't want to say meaty texture, but they do definitely have that kind of like more substantial texture when yeah. you bite it. Let's we'll have a try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm. My lord. You nailed that batter. The batter is, and it's, it's been here for a little, 
sit a little while on the table and it's still mm -hmm. crunchy. Oh, good. That's good. Mm. Mm. You a fan? Yeah. Good. And you've experienced this one sort of before. That's the triple baked Italian donut. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh, so here we've got dessert after having a <laughs> donut burger for the main meal. This is a triple baked Italian donut with chocolate. So our local baker, he basically bakes them so in an Italian style. So they're baked once and then left for a while to rise and baked again three times until they get whopping like, like the size they are now. Whoa. All right, let's just get this out so you guys can have a look at how <laughs> juicy this donut is look at that I've got a quite a large head too many people have said and that's that's like nearly the size of my head now we're gonna get the mouth around that just bite it mm. oh dear that is amazing this is beautiful everyone has to come here and try this Basically, he'll come in and he might do a little display, but that's just his thing showing you that he's the boss. He's the boss. He's the boss. So you, you've got to submit. Yeah. He'll basically show us all I, that. I, 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 I respect Joey's, uh, you know, I respect his hustle and I'm just going to submit to Joey. <laughs> <laughs> I can pick him up and bring him yeah. in. Uh, Joey, there he is. <gasps> Joey. Oh, I was at the house and then I just got a text message saying, he's a boy. <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs> when he gobbled. Hello, Joey. Hello, mate. If you stroke on his back to begin with, just, just behind his, yeah, just on his back, and you can kind of just, yeah, he likes that. And then his caruncles, I that's what we call the little bobble bits. You want a little bit of corn? Sometimes it doesn't. Does he like the back scratch? Yeah, yeah, he likes the back scratches. And you can even... He's in full display mode, he's just... So if gone. you get, um... Right. Do you want some corn? He doesn't really know me too well. He doesn't know me well enough to let me to eat corn out of my hand. You can get your hand, like, in. As long as you're going downwards, like, following his feathers, and you can just... When That'll calm him, he yeah, likes that. So he's just trying to impress you. He's heard you've got a, 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 a popular YouTube channel, he thinks it's great, so it's just, this is him. Zoe, I named my YouTube channel after you. <laughs> That's how special you are. Do you know that? Oh. <laughs> so that means he's seen the food. Now they said he'd been ill, so they were going to kill him because they didn't have the room for him. So we could have him, and um, we went up there and they had like a 10 acre farm. And then, um, yeah, we just rehomed him. He was two days away, two or three days away from slaughter. And we got him. Oh dear. But he's had two years of freedom, and that say he's doing really well. He's lost weight, and he's doing, he's a healthy he's been boy. healthy. He says he's one of the healthiest farm turkeys I've ever seen. He loves, he loves running around and just, just hanging out, but then sometimes he'll just sit on the sofa with us and just chill and watch a movie or something. It's pretty cool. I'm impressed with your display. I'm very intimidated. <laughs> I'm extremely intimidated by you, and you are the alpha turkey. <laughs> You're the alpha Joey in the room. <laughs> and because I hang out with him on a daily basis, you know, he's my best mate. It just, to me, doesn't make any sense that someone would do that, you know, to an incredibly social bird. It doesn't matter how social they are, but when they are as social as turkeys are, for me, I just think it's completely unjustifiable. And I think if anyone got to know or met a turkey on a personal level, they'd never ever pick up a fork, you know, to eat, eat turkey or meat again. The reason that they're bred this way is, is for meat. So a lot like, you know, like broiler chickens and stuff like that. They are bred to so the front of Joey's breast is bred for, you know, human consumption. That's, that's why he's, he's as big as he is. 
literally on the phone to a delivery company who's you know delivering us some food and I just saw him in the road so I figured if I go over and approach and can pick them up then they need help. So we'll just you know look him over, give him some recovery formula which is just like full of vitamins and energy and then if he's all right we'll just take him back. <laughs> Very nice to meet you guys. Yeah, yeah lovely to meet you. Thank, thank you. Yeah. And we hope that we can help out with your uh, venture. I think it's a great idea. Yeah, you know, yeah thank you so out much. There. And you've already done two rescues while we're here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, we, that's just Joey. how it goes. There's Joey in the background saying goodbye. Say goodbye. Yeah. Bye, Joey. Told you why we should. You don't put baby in the car now. <laughs> All right, so what an amazing little place here. That's such delicious food oh my god and they even did two rescues while we were here so their goal is to open up a big sanctuary but i think it's a fantastic idea to start a cafe to help raise the funds and they've got a tattoo uh, studio there a vegan tattoo studio so if you want to support come down to the cafe and support or they've started a uh, fundraiser too to help support their sanctuary and i'll leave that link down below and you can support such an amazing place with some ethical vegans trying their best to help animals. Uh, a really good business idea, really good sort of activism idea as well. And yeah, come down here to Hebden Bridge and uh, say good day.